Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tavadhan, and in this video lecture session, I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this: a hexagonal prism, 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its corners of the base, such that the two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make equal inclinations with HP. Draw the projections of the prism when the axis of the prism is inclined to HP at 40 degree and appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. Now according to the given question condition, go to a line command, set the line thickness to 0.5 and it is supposed to be a continuous line and then go to applications, macros, run macro, select inside polygon, the path of the inside polygon is shown here, then open the inside polygon, click on the flat line, then the length of the polygon is supposed to be a 25 millimeter and hexagon is having number of sides as 6. Click on the apply relationships and then press the left click of the cursor anywhere on the sheet so that hexagon is going to be obtained. Once this hexagon is obtained and rotate this hexagon in such a way that it is supposed to be the corner resting because the corner resting is the condition which is given to us. Then position the hexagon properly in the HP and then make use of a line command just to draw a two diagonals to get the center of the hexagon to draw the axis position. The axis position is going to be projected till the XY line and then whatever the remaining portions are there of the hexagon will be projected till the XY line like this. Now this is going to be a projectors to draw the front view. Now the front view of a prism is always a rectangle so with the rectangle command this is the width of the um, hexagonal uh, prism and the height of the hexagonal prism is given as 50 mm. So we will go to the height and log the value as 50. Now one can see that the hexagon is going to be appeared for 50 mm height then the visible longer edges is going to be connected and this is going to be connected as a sla sorry uh, not the slant edge the axis line which is in the form of a chain line with 0 0.13 then. then make use of the smart dimension command show that the size of the hexagon is 25 and the height of the prism is 50 millimeter then make use of a text command start giving the namings for all the corners so this corner will be named as a a1 and this corner will be named as b b1 now in the same fashion this will be named as c c1 and this corner is going to be named as d d1 and here it will be named as e e1 and this corner will be named as f f1 and then the axis portion will be named as o and o1 next in the front view the bottom base will be started like this a1 dash then we have b1 dash inside the bracket f1 dash then inside the bracket o1 dash and then c1 dash as well as e1 dash and then finally we have d1 dash in the same fashion the top base has to be named as a dash as well as b sorry b dash as well as a dash inside the bracket sorry only a dash then b dash as well as f dash and then inside the bracket o dash and then c dash inside the bracket e dash and then we have d dash now the front view has been marked properly and afterwards the prism axis is inclined at 40, 40 degree to hp now select the front view go to a command called as move move with respect to this d1 dash and reposition the d1 dash on the xy line keeping some convenient distance then go for rotate command rotate the base in such a way that the base angle should be 90 minus 40 degree now 90 minus 40 is the 50 degree is the inclined inclined angle now make use of angle between command show that the Inclination of the axis with respect to the xy line is measuring as 40 degree. Now one has to select this top front view, go to move command, move this laminar slightly towards the left side so that we will be having the enough space to draw the 
next stage talk to you otherwise you will be having a problem to draw the next stage so then make use of a line command with the project 0.1 mm as a 13 mm as a thickness one can start drawing the projectors from all the respective corners to get the next stage so here one should have be one should have the patience to draw these projectors because if we are going to make one slight mistake will be le uh, leads to a lot of differences in the problems henceforth please be careful while drawing these projector lines and then the remaining is e up to here then make use of the text command start naming the respective corners this corner will be a1 this will be b1 c1 and this is going to be uh, d1 this is going to be e1 and this is going to be f1 and this is going to be o1 and this is going to be o and in the same fashion this is going to be marked as a b c d e and f now o1 i will reposition it like slightly like this then make use of a line command with thickness of 0.5 and a continuous line join the boundary first according to the rules of visibility a1 to b1 b1 to c1 b and c and then d e f e1 and f1 and back to a1 which is going to be the boundary lines and after forming the boundary line identify the visible base make it as invisible a b c d is the visible base a1 b1 c1 is a invisible base so using a line command with 0.5 mm as a thickness now join the line b to a and a to f as a visible base and then c1 to d1 and then d1 to e1 as a invisible base now the longer edges f f1 e e1 b b1 c c1 going to form the uh, boundary lines so it must be visible now the remaining line is a a1 and d d1 now a a1 is passing inside the visible base hence it must be uh, uh, inside the invisible base hence it must be visible whereas d d1 is passing inside the invisible base so it must be invisible whereas a a1 is visible so we'll make it as visible edge now we will connect a a1 as a visible edge and then the last one is the chain line with a 0.13 mm as a thickness connect o to o1 as a chain line now after which one can say that the solution is completed according to the second stage which is given now what is the third stage which is given appears to be inclined to vp at 45 degree now the axis length is getting reduced but the given angle itself as apparent angle whatever the reduced length is there will be directly drawn on the apparent angle now for which go to a line command with a continuous line 0.13 mm thickness and draw a line whose angle is supposed to be 45 degree so one will draw a inclined line now using a angle between command set the angle as 45 degree and select this top view and rotate uh, fix this top view over the 45 degree line with respect to o1 and o now move this one with respect to o1 position it on the 45 degree line now one can see that uh, we have not selected the move copy so we will select the move copy and repeat it once again go to move switch on the copy move with respect to o1 reposition it on the o1 here and then go to a rotate command rotate in such a way that o1 is here and another end o is going to be obtained on the point on element as well as parallel now this become rotated at an angle of 45 degree now once again draw the projectors so here the uh, patience is very important as i keep on stating that because the number of lines are keep on increasing here now we will connect c to c and along with c we have e so we will connect e also then we have uh, b and f so we shall connect uh, b and f and then uh, after b and f we have o so we'll connect o to o properly and then we have uh, uh, d d is going to be connected till here so now 
the angle must be locked as 90 degree to avoid confusions then y is supposed to be projected to this height and then the top base is completed now the bottom base that is uh, starting with c1 c1 is at this height lock the angle as 90 degree so c will be connected to c1 properly this is c1 and then along with c1 we have e1 and then uh, v1 we will connect so once again we'll set the angle as 90 degree so we'll connect the proper points so b and f is going to be connected so while connecting f also we are have disturbance so lock the angle as 90 degree then o1 is going to be connected to this height to o1 dash and then remaining is uh, d1 as well as a1 so d1 is going to be projected till the x y line at an angle of 90 degree and then the remaining is a1 at an angle of 90 degree will be projected up to this height so now a1 is going to be projected now once it is finished using the text command name the respective corners so this corner will be named as a1 dash this corner will be named as b1 dash then this is going to be c1 dash then d1 dash then e1 dash then f1 dash then this is going to be o1 dash in the same fashion this will become a dash b dash c dash d dash then e dash and this is going to be f dash and this is going to be o dash now we have marked all the necessary points now the first point according to the rules of visibility is join the boundary line make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter starting with f1 dash now one can say that this is going to be the boundary f1 dash to f dash then a dash b dash c dash then c dash is going to be connected to c1 dash and then d1 dash then e1 dash and then back to f dash this is going to be the boundary and then identify the visible base a1 b1 c1 d1 is visible so make that as visible base that is f dash to okay uh, sorry uh, a1 dash to so yeah f1 dash to a1 dash to b dash and then c dash then a b c d is invisible base those edges must be shown as invisible edges that is f dash to e dash e dash to d dash d dash to c dash must be shown as invisible bases then the longer edges if it is passing inside the invisible base must be visible and the visible base must be invisible so go to the line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter now the longer edge f uh, a dash a1 dash is passing outside so then e dash e1 dash is invisible edge and then d1 dash and d dash is invisible edge so d1 dash is not connected properly we shall uh, draw it once again d dash to d1 dash then b1 dash and as well as that is b dash b1 dash is visible line because it is passing inside the invisible base and this is also a visible line because they are two are passing inside the invisible bases then the last line that is called as chain line with 0 0.13 mm as a thickness join o dash to o1 dash now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects so that whatever the corners what we have marked i will slightly reposition it so that it will improve the visibility properly what are the points which has to be marked there now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects according to the given question and if you have any sort of doubt to solve this problem you can feel free to contact me and please kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and also do subscribe to my youtube channel and once again thanks to watching my channel thank you very much